Hey people, how you doing? You know, in reality there's only two kind of people. Those people who get it, and those people who don't get it. The world's flat. Do you get it? I pity you fuckers, you don't. Where are you going? Why are you here? You don't know. You never will. Because you think you live on a spinning ball because they have controlled your mind indoctrinated you to be their slave, to keep you in bondage, to feed your energy from you. They don't want you to know where you are, because if you know where you are, you have a better chance of understanding why you're here. And you're never going to know where you're going to go after here. If you do not know why or where you are. And you just don't feel. You were presented the globe from infancy. Fisher Price, Tycho, they all show you the globe. I see it in my children's toys, I see it in my grandchildren's toys. Yes, I have grandchildren. And I want them to have a chance of liberty and freedom, which you're not going to have if you don't wake up to the flat pack. They're controlling your mind, controlling your reality. They're controlling you. Do you need control? There are people out there that need control. But they will be controlled by the people who don't need control. It's called anarchy, people. If you paid attention a little bit to that last video on Washington, D.C., the city of London, and the Vatican City, do a little research on them three entities. And you'll see that there will never be world peace within this realm, whatever you want to call it. If you want to believe it's round, by all means, believe it's round. Me? I know what it is. I look, I see, I perceive, I observe. I watch everything. I look and I listen a lot more than I run my mouth, like you bald professors. Everything supporting a ball is assumption and theory. Nothing has ever been proven. Yet you willfully buy it because it was indoctrinated into your brain. Take for instance, had they waited until you were 14, 15, 16 years old to where your mind had developed and you understood a little bit about nature and science and that you were on a flat realm and then <laughs> they proposed to you that you lived on a spinning ball spinning it over a thousand miles an hour at the equator tilted at 23.4 degrees do you realize what this tilt of the earth does it plays their number game because you take 23.4 degrees off the 90 degree vertical and it leaves you with the 66.6 .6 degree. One of the number games they play. Numbers and words to them, they mean everything. Such as aeroplane. Why do you think they called it an aeroplane? Because it flies over the plane. You were indoctrinated by the same means and measures that your parents were. Your parents were put in the institutions who their parents and their parents all trusted to teach the children reality. But as all they did was 
program the children. They didn't teach you how to think, people. They taught you what to think. They wrote the books. And when you asked questions, rather than going out and experimenting on your own, you, they would tell you to read the books that they wrote. All this horse shit of people talking rockets working the vacuum of space. It would be literally impossible by their theory of the Big Bang. Because the vacuum of space would be such a tremendous vacuum with everything flying out at such horrific, inconceivable speeds that the vacuum left behind we probably even suck this atmosphere away, spinning around at 1,024 miles an hour, orbiting the sun at 66,000 miles an hour, while the sun orbits the outer rim of the Milky Way at 666,000 over a half a million miles away, and you don't get it? Do you think this atmosphere would actually be able to hold itself together at that dynamic speed? Oh, but it even gets better because the Milky Way's flying through the infinite universe at over a million miles a second or whatever. It's such a fucking phenomenal number. You can't even comprehend it. Yet you buy the bullshit. What is wrong with you people? Look, NASA. Don't fucking piss down my back and say it's raining. Because I ain't that fucking stupid. The reality of it is, people, that I was a ball earther too. My stories, I was 50 years old. I'd lived on the spinning ball for 50 years. And some idiot a couple years ago, who I thought was an idiot, said something about the flat earth. And I laughed at him like a fucking idiot I thought he was. And it was my intention to uh, learn this man up a little bit and show him that we lived on this spinning ball. several, several months of investigation, whether it be the research of Samuel Robotham, the Michelson Morley. Right now I don't have all the time to think, but I have read a lot on this shit. And there is zero evidence other than the theory of gravity that supports the spinning ball whatsoever. Nothing. Not a nut. I don't give a shit what you come at with all the CGI and bullshit that NASA has. They have not presented one rock-solid piece of evidence that we live on a spinning ball, yet y'all buy it like it's Diet Coke. <laughs> like fat people buy Diet Coke, whatever. You know where I'm coming from. It's, it's ridiculous to even speculate that we live on a spinning ball. This ain't my this defies, debunks gravity. But I just want you people to think. And do you hear what you're saying to yourself when you're telling yourself you're going millions of miles a second according to the heliocentric model? And this atmosphere can actually hold together by a theory of gravity? Are you fucking serious? Do you do not see the insanity to even buy such a bullshit story?
Draw it down on paper a couple of times and look at it as you do. As you're trying to prove that you have a spinning ball model that works. It'll drive you crazy. It'll drive you mad. It gets to the point where you start telling everybody about the flat earth. <laughs> you don't give a shit where it is. Who it is. You tell them. You try to wake people up. And nobody wants to hear it. You really don't. Too fucking tied up in this goddamn... What do you... Cell phone that leashed to society? Getting in car wrecks because they're fucking texting. Getting killed because they're texting. You go to dinner. Nobody's in a communication with their little family over here at the table. They're all doing their cell phone. But hey, that's society now. And that's what's become a society. That's because you all believe you live on a spinning ball. It's not their money. We all know about the Sparrow Reserve. See, this, this is the thing about you two people. We all know that he's seeing this message. This is nothing new to any of us. Who is watching this broadcast over YouTube right now. Because they are the ones who put this message out. They are the ones that allow this message right here to be viewed by whoever has the ability to view it. Not everybody gets to look at this video. Only who they want to. See? That's why I fell away from YouTube. When I first found YouTube a few years ago, I thought, wow, this is a tool that we can just wake some motherfuckers up and get this government out of, or to get this country back out of the hands of the government, put it back in the hands of the people where it belongs. But after seeing how YouTube works and the videos it pushes, much like mainstream media, they push the videos that push their agenda. So, and this right here has become real big in society around here, and everybody I encounter knows that I do support the flat realm and that the earth is actually only a small portion of the entire floor of the universe. We may not be the center, it goes out and out. For infinity, perhaps. I don't know. You don't know. You don't know if there's a dome. No one's ever found it. The Bible says so. You Bible believers, Joshua, God made the sun and the moon to stand still. Wouldn't it have been easier just to stop the earth? Then the moon would have stopped anyway. I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't have. I don't know. It ain't here nor there. The reality is, until you guys get your head screwed, screwed on and in the game of reality, you're going to keep playing their game. Feeding them your energy, your emotions. That's all they want. Your birth certificate. This sounds crazy, people. But do the research. Do a little investigation for yourself and you'll find out that on the birth certificate, they... Do not put your fingerprints on there, which would be simple enough. They want your fingerprint when they take you to jail, don't they? No, 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 no. They want your footprint on the birth certificate. Because what is the foot represent? The soul. The soul. Footprint represents your soul. And that's what they want. And that's why they've got this birth certificate going. And it, it, it's crazy. It's crazy. I could babble on all day, people, but I've learned that I'm pretty much wasting my time here. Because only you people who will are affiliated with me, even hear what I say. It's not everybody. So when I turn this thing off, I don't know when. I'll turn another one on.
but I do know I am going to show you piss on a wall debunks gravity. Go piss on a fucking wall and watch it for a minute. And watch the run down the wall pattern as some of the piss puddles up, but it don't fall all the way down to the ground, to the source of the theory of gravity. On one last note, we all know Sir Isaac Newton. He's the one they say <laughs> discovered gravity. People, wake the fuck up. Sir Isaac Newton did not discover gravity. He renamed weight. Hence, Newton. Back in the day, you were recognized by your name, by your accomplishments. Get it? The more their fucking games. And it gets deeper and deeper. The more you dig. There is no bottom, people. You may think you can get to the bottom, but it's like digging in a sand pile. The deep, deeper you dig, the wider it gets on top. And as you take a handful out of the bottom, the sides all cave in. So, good luck getting to the bottom, but... You're never going to get there. Because there ain't one. I don't think, I don't know, maybe there is. But I do know that there are no mysteries in this realm. Everything is knowledge and thought, thought and knowledge. The knowledge is hidden, lost and forgotten, but it's out there. It's up to you to find it. Anyway, I haven't done a video for a while and that last one was kind of fun, so I figured I'd do another one and I'm done. So uh, you people have a good day and see you later.